height of sophistication, elegance, culture. Since my boutique in Canterlot has been doing so nicely, it only makes sense for me to open one there as well. We're almost there! Why doesn't your face look like this? Oh, Pinky dear, this is just a business trip for me. I need to scour the city for the most perfect location for my new shop. And while it's lovely how excited you are, there's absolutely no chance of me getting swept into the... <gasps> Spells mod. traditions. Every year, you set aside a special day to spend with each of your sisters? Yep, I do separate trips with each one, and we make it super fun by picking a different location every year. We see the sights all day, and then swap gifts at sunset. And since Maud's getting a rock turret nearby, we figured this would be the perfect spot for pst. Okay, what's the secret? Huh? You just said pst. No, silly, not pst. Pst. Pie Sister Surprise Swap Day! <laughs> Maud! Boulder promised his cousin a postcard. Well, I'll just leave you two to your pssst. And now I am off to scout possible locations for my new boutique. Before you go, can I ask you a quick question? Oh, of course. Will you please help me? Only if you let go of my leg and stand up. Every year, Maud's gift always blows mine away. But this year is going to be different. For the first time, I'm finally getting her a gift that's as good as the ones she always gets me. There's a specialty store here in Manhattan that sells nothing but rock pouches. A rock pouch would be perfect for Boulder, and I know Maud will love it. Why, Pinky, that really is the perfect gift for Maud. I know, right? Problem is, I still need to buy one in the store downtown. Hmm. And you want to get a pouch for Maud without ruining the surprise. Well, luckily for you, I know exactly what you should do. Why not sightsee in a path that leads right to the pouch store? That way Maud won't get suspicious. I'll come with you and distract Maud so I can sneak away to pick out a rock pouch. And if you're coming with us, you can look at boutique locations along the way. excited until you actually get a pouch for Maud. Of course. Got it. Absolutely. Nothing moved him. Ah! I'm giving you the greatest gift in the history of ever! <laughs> oh, what a spectacular view. You really can see everything from here. Especially the glaciation of the sloping strata. It's breathtaking. But not half as breathtaking as the gift I'm giving you! <laughs> it, it certainly is ooh, cozy, but this simply won't do. Working in a space this small would make me lose my mind. Just like Mom's gonna lose her mind when she sees the gift I'm giving her! You'll be pleased with yours, too. Pinky, 
Cookie, put down that crayon. A cantering cookie isn't that kind of restaurant. Oh, a pony could get used to eating at places like this. I know. It's the only restaurant in the city with Nepheline cyanite in their bathroom tiles. <laughs> well, isn't that something? You know what, Pinkie Pie? Uh, uh, maybe you could help me figure out what to order. We're so close to the pouch store. It's just a block away. I could practically smell it from here. If I knew what a pouch store smelled like. Okay, remember the plan. I will stay here and distract Maud while you go get a pouch. Gotcha. Oh, why, thank you for the kind assistance, Pinkie Pie. Now I know exactly what to order. You are very welcome, Rarity. Now pardon me whilst I go wash my hooves. <laughs> so, Maud, that boulder of yours is such an interesting... <clears throat> ...character. You must tell me, how did the two of you first meet? It was a dark and stormy night. Little did I know that my life was about to change forever. <gasps> Look at that hand-stitched 10,000 thread count velvet-lined frog pouch! Maud will love it! I need it! Huh, must be stuck! Took a sudden vacation to Canterlot with my grandniece back in a few moons. Oh no. Oh no, no, no! and just forgot to sit beside him. Hello, Mr. Pouch Store Owner! I'd love to hear all about your sudden vacation to Canterlot with your grandies. We'll buy you a pouch for my sister, please! Miss, the store's clearly closed. But it can't be. It just can't be. If I can't get that pouch, then not only am I not getting my sister the greatest present in the history of... But now I have no sister present for my sister at all. Boulder's been by my side ever since. Wow, what a surprisingly suspenseful and compelling story. I completely get what you see in him now. <gasps> Pinkie Pie, you're back! Oh, your hooves must be sparkling clean. Huh? All right. <sighs> Garçon, one super deluxe two mile high hot fudge Sunday stat! <laughs> What happened? Did you get a pouch from Maud? Tell me everything! <gasps> the door to the rock pouch store is locked because the owner's on a sudden vacation to Canterlot with his grandniece for a few months, and so there's no way I can get the perfect present for Maud, and now I don't have any present for her at all, so it'll be the worst pie sister surprise for me ever! <laughs> <laughs> oh, not to worry, dear. I'll just have to help you find a new present for Maud. We have plenty of time before your gift exchange at sunset and all of Manhattan to explore. We're bound to find something Maud would like, maybe even more than a rock pouch. You're right! Thanks, Rarity! Maud, I can't help but notice you're staring at that marvelous giraffe. I was just wondering, any chance you could see yourself with it? Only if I had a mirror. Now, Maud, I know you're a big fan of rocks, so get your camera ready, because these are the most spectacular rocks in all of Manhattan. Surely there must be something here that catches your eye. Boulder says they're all too stuck up. What do you think about this? Or this? Or this? Or this? Or this? Or this? Or this? 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 I like that. What is it? You have to tell me. Was it this bike? This lamp? This grappling hook? What do you like? I like that fissure in the sidewalk. It's an elegant example of thermal expansion and soil settlement. Sister of yours is simply impossible to shop for. There's nothing she needs or wants. 
Boulder, Boulder, where'd you run off to? There you are. Sure wish I had something to carry you around in. <laughs> A red drawstring! And ochre flecked velvet lining with reinforced triple cross hatched seams? Yep, that's the pouch. Wait, how'd you know? Because I'm looking at one just like it. Maybe if you catch up with him, you could ask. Excuse me, sir. I couldn't help but notice your nifty rock pouch. Is there any chance you'd be willing to part with it? I really need it. Like, really, really, really. So, uh, let me get this straight. You, uh, really, really need this pouch, huh? I believe I said really, really, really! Well, you know, pouches like this are really hard to come by these days. But, uh, might be able to part with it for the right price. So you'll sell it to me, and I'll finally be able to give my sister the perfect pie sister surprise swap day present? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! Hmm. That's one sweet potty cannon you got there. Tell you what, I'd be more than happy to give you the pouch for the low, low price of that cannon. My, my party cannon? Well, if you really want to give that sister of yours the perfect present, then you'll have to give up your party cannon. So, what do you say? The pouch for the cannon. Do you see the exposed chalcedony in the fissure? Probably. What you guys looking at? Oh, you're back. Darling, I want to get one more picture of you with that astounding fissure in the sidewalk. And the inspiration just struck me for the perfect shot. Uh, be a dear and go stand behind it. Okay, now just uh, back up a little bit. for Maud, and that's really the only thing that matters. Oh, I am so glad to hear that. She's going to absolutely love it. Yep. Yep, that's it. You got your sister the greatest psst present in the history of ever, and all you have to say is, yep. Yep. But you're Pinkie Pie. You're supposed to be all, oh, I'm so excited I got the rock pouch. And I know I say excited a lot when I'm actually just kind of excited, but this time I'm really excited Fire off your party cannon. Say, where is your cannon? <gasps> Did you lose it? Is your party cannon lost somewhere in the big city? Well, I wouldn't say it's lost. I mean, I know where it is. It's just. <sighs> I can clearly see that something's bothering you, and I want to help. But I can't help you unless you tell me what the problem is. Oh, there's no problem. It just turns out that the going rate for a rock pouch in Manhattan is one party cannon. Who knew? You gave away your cannon? But, but that party cannon is your everything! You absolutely love that cannon! How could you possibly part with something that means so much to you? Well, I finally got Ma to gift this just as good as the ones she always gets me. And that's all that really matters. Well, I guess I understand. Maybe. Ma's going to be so excited. I can't wait to see the look on her face when she sees the pouch. I know. The camera loves Boulder. After the day we've had, I'm probably looking forward to the swap part of the Pie Sister Surprise Swap Day even more than the two of you. <laughs> and I'm not even a Pie Sister. I can't wait one more second to see the wonderful gifts you've gotten each other. Well, you're going to have to. We don't just swap, silly. We always sing the Pie Sister Surprise Swap Day song first. Ready, Maud? As I'll ever be. It's the Pie Sister Swap Day song! Hey. Okay, time to swap presents.
Thanks. I knew you loved it! It was all worth it! Look how happy she is! And I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, Rarity. Okay, <laughs> time to open your present to me! Oh, you did it again! You got me the best present in the history of... This is perfect! This is amazing! This is incredible! I love it! I love it! I love it! What is it? It's little pieces of cupcake-scented paper. You know, confetti for your cannon. Maude, you know me so well. You really are the most thoughtful gift giver in the world. I'm gonna love it five ever. That's even longer than four ever. <sighs> You're right. That is impressive. But it's no fisher in the sidewalk. Play nice. Oh, I'm so relieved to see that you like the pouch. Especially considering what Pinkie Pie had to give up for it. <gasps> what? I mean, forget I said that. I mean, I, I'm, I'm glad to see that you like the pouch. You can remember that part. Just forget the second part. You know, the, the second part where I said that Pinkie Pie had to give something up. <gasps> I should just stop talking now. Nothing. <laughs> Yay! I love my sister and my new cassette! Why isn't she using her party cannon? Ah. Oh, wow! Look how filthy my hooves are! I really should go wash them! Where's her cannon? No, no! Stop! Stop giving me that look! I can't take it! Ah, Pinkie Pie feels badly that the gifts that she always gives you are never as good as the ones that you give her! What? That's why she was willing to give up her party cannon for the pouch! She gave up her party cannon. Pinkie Pie! You might want to come over here for a second. I think I know what this is about. You guys want to ride the swans. Well, they're swan boats, but there are real swans here we can ride. You gave away your party cannon? She broke me. Get your cannon back. There. Yep, that sure is the pony I got the pouch from. That's amazing. How did you know where he'd be? Mod sense. Runs in the family. I'd like to return this pouch for my sister's party cannon, please. Sorry, Missy. I'll say as a fine. I'd like to return this pouch for my sister's party cannon, please. Oh, I've never seen her like this. Look at the fire in her eyes. You better do what she says. Fire in her eyes? Oh, did she just clench her jaw? I think she clenched her jaw. I didn't see. Oh, no. When she clenches her jaw, you know what that means. What? What's it mean? Trust me, you do not want to know. I'd like to return this pouch. <gasps> Here, take it, take it, please! Just relax that jaw of yours and turn down that fire in your eyes! <laughs> Maud, I'm so happy you got me my party cannon back! Yay! Uh-oh, I just realized something. Because you gave back the pouch for my cannon, this is now the second gift you've gotten me today. And it's something I really, really wanted. You did it again. Your gifts are always better than mine. Next year, I'm going to have to really step it up and... Pinky, gift-giving isn't a competition. It's an expression of love. And you always make sure to give your gifts with lots of love. That's why I'll always love them. And you. Five ever. That's even longer than four ever. your hooks for a long time. We've got a train to catch here. I know, but there is one more sight you two simply must see before we leave. Voila! Welcome to the future home of Rarity for You. 
What do you think of the place? Is this the right location? Did I pick a good spot? No. You picked the perfect spot. You know, I think this might be my favorite pst ever! But I can't wait till next year's pst -er. Wait. pst -er. What's that? P-S-S-S-T-W-R. It's a new tradition that Mon and I came up with. Pie, sister, surprise, swap day! With rarity. You are of giving gifts. I'm gonna have to get you both something amazing, and I only have a year to do it. Oh, Rarity, it doesn't matter what you get us. As long as you give your gift with love, it'll be perfect. Ah, <sighs> why, thank you, Pinky. But now that you mention it, I could use more confetti for my party cannon. You wouldn't believe how much of that stuff I go through in a day. 